In this example, we're asked to find the LCM, which is the least common multiple of 8 and 10. Now when we're looking for the least common multiple of two numbers, we want the smallest number that both numbers divide into. So let's look at a process where we can find that number pretty easily. I'm going to start by looking at multiples of 8. So I'm just going to start with 8 and I'm going to count up by 8. So I'm going to add 8 each time. So 8, 16, 24, 32, the next one is 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, and I'm going to stop at 80, but of course these continue. Multiples of 10, the first one is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and of course these continue also. Now you'll notice there's some intersections between the multiples of 8 and the multiples of 10. Namely 40 is a common multiple and 80 is a common multiple. So some common multiples of 8 and 10. 40 is the first, 80. So I could also just continue with this pattern, adding 40 each time, 120 would be common to both, 160, etc. If I want the least common multiple, that is the smallest number that both 8 and 10 will divide into, there's only one number that meets that criteria, and that number is 40.